Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Premier League team of the season might be the craziest team of the season we have ever seen because of the names and the leaked players that we have in this promo. We've got insane Tots cards in the starting 11, insane team of the season moments cards, way better than the Ben Sabini, Carter Vickers, and the Ito that we've had during Community Tots. This is where team of the season gets wild, and it's really worth making this extra video today for you guys because... There is so much to talk about with this team that is coming out tomorrow on Friday on this game. So if you're excited for the leaks and the video today, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I also want to take a look at why this might be the most expensive team of the season ever because wow, these cards look insane. There's so many big players and I just can't imagine that the pack weight's going to be that good. So without further ado, let's get into the leaks. First of all, we have an Erling Holland and I'll be completely honest with you guys. I don't think he's going to be a 99. I think these stats are that are predicted, by the way, all of these stats that you will see are predicted by Foot Sheriff and these leakers. I think this is too high rated. I don't want to get your guys' expectations or my expectations up too much. Would it be worth, um, you know, expecting a 99 rated Holland? No. Could it be deserved? Yes. Would EA do it? I think it's very unlikely. The way they run the power curve now is they really don't release that high rated of cards until like July. And August, and we had like shapeshifters last year and, and all that sort of stuff late into the game cycle. They try to extend the game as far as possible, make as much money as they can and keep us interested. So I don't think we're going to get a 99 Holland, but is it deserved? Technically, he broke the record just yesterday. You could say it's deserved. I think it's going to be a 96 or a 97 rated Holland. And I think he might be the highest rated player in team of the season, guys. I feel like that's going to be the top, the max and the ceiling 96 or a 97 Holland. If it is higher rated than his team of the year, of course, the team of the year would probably drop off in price. And that's kind of the biggest factor with this card. If he's higher than the team of the year, he will probably be more expensive. If he's the same price or the same rating as a team of the year, he's probably going to be around the same price as well. That's the biggest thing we have yet to see because obviously with community team of the season this year, we have not seen anybody who's got a team of the year card. Nobody in community tots, of course, would have gotten a team of the year. So that's what I would say there. Very interesting to see what they do with Holland. That's going to be a really, really insane card. The names and the players just keep getting better, guys. Let's keep going. Rashford, he's getting a Tots card as well. Not a surprise, let's be honest. But the big thing with Rashford is we need the four-star weak foot carried forward from his stories card that we got earlier on this year. And I think this Rashford card is going to be really, really expensive. I packed a Rashford team of the season back in FIFA 21. This card was unbelievable. This is the year that Rashford really came out as like an insane, insane FIFA meta player. And he was like 3 million coins then. Do I believe Rashford is going to be 3 million coins this year? This card right here? No, I don't think he's going to be that much. But I could really see Rashford being around the 2 mil range. I mean, you take a look at last year's Premier League team of the season. You look at some of the most expensive cards in here. The 97 rated Salah, he was 2.5 million coins. The 97 Ronaldo, of course, it's Ronaldo, right? He was 4 to 5 million coins. And your 96 De Bruyne was how much? I think he was like 4 as well, right? Oh my gosh. No, that was the that was the De Bruyne from way back when. Like the 99 rated one. He was 1.1 million coins. Dropped down to 800k. Last year though, everything was like a lot cheaper than it is this year. Prices this year are still kind of on that lower end. But last year's stuff was just like crazy, crazy cheap. Remember the Mane we had last year with 5 star skills? He was a 3 million coin card. He was very expensive at 96 rated. So... If you kind of compare like, you know, the Rashford from way back before this Mane from last year, I obviously don't think the Rashford this year is going to look as insane as this Mane. He's probably going to not have the passing boost like that Mane had and be all 90s in stats like this card is besides physical. But I could see Rashford being upwards of 2 million coins. And again, that's why I'm saying this team of the season, guys, might be the most expensive tots We've seen it a long time as well, at least in the past couple of years, because with the way the community team of the season looks to me as well, we have a lot of expensive players in there, right? Gabriel Jesus, uh, Rodrigo, 1.7 mil. Sanchez is like 1.3 to 1.4. A lot of players that are in that four to 500K range as well. Bernardo Silva, 1.2. I think it's going to be a really, really expensive Premier League Tots. And all these players that we looked at so far, if you pack one of them, you're freaking stoked, right? Because they're insane, insane cards. Now, De Bruyne, moving on, just like uh, Erling Holland, kind of the same thing. He's got the team of the year card, probably going to be the same rating as his team of the year, I don't imagine. Like they did last year, um, they didn't go above the team of the year rating for any of the guys that got cards in team of the season. De Bruyne was a 96, his team of the year was a 96, and they kind of just changed up the stats a bit, right? They gave him more pace, 
um, and more dribble on his Tots card, but they kind of uh, deducted some defensive stats. So that's kind of how I imagine they will do it this year with the team of the years as well. So maybe the Tots De Bruyne is like 87 pace and 96 dribble, but like 79 defense or something like that. We'll just have to see what EA go ahead and do. This card is 2.6 mil, I would imagine. Uh, last year, like we saw though, the um, Tots KDB was really, really cheap. He was like 800K. I don't think he's going to be that cheap this year, especially with this card being 2.6, 2.7. I just can't see any of this team of the season being really, really cheap, guys, because um, they're not that easy to pack, right? These are really tough cards to pack, easier than team of the years for sure. But, I mean, 97 rated cards, 96 rated cards are never easy to pack. So I do expect to see a lot of crazy high prices with this team of the season comparatively to what we have right now with the community team of the season uh, even though those prices are even up a little bit as well. So let's move on and look through some more leaks because it just keeps getting better. Bruno Guimaraes. Now this one I'm very interested in because he's one of a couple cards that have had foot birthdays or recent promos. So we're probably not going to see as big of a boost on this card in game. Again, the leak here is showing a 94. Um, I think that's pretty realistic, actually. Um, his, of course, his foot birthday card is 91 rated. I would actually think it's very possible for him to be 93 or a 94. Um, you know, that's going to be a really insane card. We just had the Jolinton, of course. There would be a perfect link to him. We've got the ASM. It's going to be a moments card. Uh, maybe in packs, maybe an SBC. Who knows? Still on that one. This is going to be a really, really insane team of the season card. Probably going to be over a million coins as well. I can only imagine this card being 500k and, and down, right? Of course, we've got the servers that are having like some big issues right now as I'm recording this video. People have not been able to log on to FIFA since a lot of these prices started crashing, which some people think maybe EA is doing, um, but that's more so of a tinfoil hat theory. I really feel like this Bruno Guimaraes is going to be 1.2 to 1.3 million coins. There's some other really good midfielders in this team, but I think he's going to stand out because of the Newcastle links and he's just got a lot of IRL hype and they played insane this year and it's going to be an insane card. So really excited for that one. Also really curious to see if they carry forward the five star skills or if they take the skills back from his foot birthday, maybe give him a weak foot upgrade. That's going to be a very meta, meta card in this game, but it's going to be expensive, of course. Now, moving up, the start of the Arsenal players, guys. We've got six Arsenal players in Team of the Season. Another foot birthday upgrade to Team of the Season for Zinchenko. Same thing for Bruno Guimaraes with we have here. Interested to see if they keep the five-star skills or the weak foot on this card, or if they just make him like 4-4 four, four or something. I don't know what they're going to do. That We'll have to see. But this kind of gives me like Cancelo vibes from the past couple of years. I mean, he's going to be really good, but I have to say, I think this is going to be one of the cheapest players in this team, because if you take a look at the players that we've looked at so far, who's going to be less than 500k? Like, this is the only guy so far that we've looked at that's probably going to be that cheap. I think Zinchenko is going to be around the same range as the Robertson team of the season card that's in community. I think he's going to be around three, 350,000 coins. I just think he's going to be the most popular card. We're going to get kind of tired of seeing him in reds right? And you think about weekend league rewards, he's just going to be one of those cheaper players. And uh, he's still going to be very, very good in game. So I'm excited for that card, but he's going to be on the cheaper end. Now we have another big one. We've got Rashford on the left, Saka on the right, and this card's going to be cracked. Of course, uh, I think it was last year, Saka had a team of the season like objective card or something, and it was 91 rated. I don't even remember where this card was, was dropped or released. I don't even remember. But um, a lot of people like this card because he could also, he could play like a right mid. You know, he, he was very versatile. He's four-star, four-star. He's got the lean body type. This year in FIFA, he's got the 89 rated. He's 4-4 as well. He can play left-sided and right-sided. He's explosive. Still got the high medium and the lean body type. I think this uh, league stat here for Saka, or this predicted stat, 96 rated. You know, the attackers that are in Prem team this season always have really high ratings. I think 96 may be true 95 probably a bit more true but you know we have a Salah that's, that's leaked as well we're going to look at but he was 97 last year Mane was 96 Sun was 95 so they always juice up the attackers pretty nice I think 95 rated for Saka is pretty believable that's going to be a really really cracked card as I said in last night's video I've picked up a couple of these honorable mention Sakas under 140k just because the gap between this version and this version is going to be crazy. I think this Saka is also going to be upwards of like 1.7 to 2 million coins just because he's going to be so hyped. A huge, 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 insane, versatile Saka card is going to be insane. So moving on through the Arsenal players. 
Odegaard, no surprise here. We just need the weak foot upgrade. He's got the five star skills. We need the weak foot upgrade on Odegaard. I could see Odegaard maybe being um, not a lower rated midfielder, but I think he's going to be one of the like middle range cards. I think he's probably going to be around a million coins. Could be a little bit less than that, though. I think he might be like 94 rated. I do believe he's going to get a nice boost. He's going to be an insane card in game. Very meta card. But I'm going to say around a million coins, maybe like 800k for him there. Again, a lot of expensive cards here, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot of expensive cards in this team, I do believe. Um, it does, of course, depend on the stat boost. But, I mean, these big name players have already got some really crazy specials. This team just looks nuts. Every single time you look at a new player, it's like, oh my gosh. Like, they actually are going and doing it. There's like no L's in this entire team. Here, we move on again. Gabriel Martinelli, who has the uh, one of my favorite cards to trade with, actually. The road to the final card is like 300,000 coins. It's down in price because of this leak. Look how cracked this card already looks as a 91. You give him a plus two or a plus three. I feel like he's only going to get a plus two or a plus three because I don't think he's in the starting 11 of team this season. I think he's technically going to be a bench player. And I think that might make his price a little bit cheaper, but... He's going to be pretty cracked in game. He's four star, four star, high, high work rates, lean body type. He's going to be explosive, um, of course, with this very high agility balance. As long as they don't boost his strength that much, um, he should still be explosive. So if he's a 93, I think that would be probably where I'd expect him to be. Probably going to be as well around a million coins, guys. Like, how is this card with a, a let's say he's 94 rated or even 93. How is he not going to be? high eight to 900 or, or a million coins on this card. Again, we look at last year for a comparative player. Hyunmin Sun last year was like, again, started over a million and then went down to like 800K. But I mean, prices on these top tier most meta cards this year are, are more expensive, let's be honest. And I think he's gonna stay around that million coin range. That's gonna be a really, really good card this year's game as well. So that's just the first of Arsenal players. Just wait, there's more. Saliba has the fantasy foot. He's getting a card as well. Man, the center backs that are in this team this season are wild. Considering we also have the flashback SPC for Laporte. But this Saliba looks crazy, of course. His fantasy card is dropping because of this league. I would imagine this is going to be one of the most cracked center backs in the game. 350 for this right now is pretty crazy. But, of course, the market's being very glitchy because servers are down. Seemingly across all EA games and consoles and everything. But... This Saliba card, probably a 93, 94. I think 95 is going to be a bit too much. I think he's going to be a starting center back in the team, though, because he got voted in, it seems, uh, since he was in the vote. So, I mean, if they don't give him 90 pace, I mean, that would be a little disappointing. If they do give him 90 pace, this guy's probably going to be like a million and a half, maybe close to like 1.75 because, I mean, you, you look at like Virgil van Dyke. Virgil van Dyke's team of the year card is 2.2 million coins. He's got 88 pace, 97 defense, 94 physical. It is VVD. He's super cracked. But you compare that card to this one with the high dribbling and the passing stats on an upgrade for a team of the season. I can see Saliba being a little bit cheaper than that. But with the French links as well, this is going to be an insane, insane center back that a lot of people are going to want to get in their team. So, I mean, we look at all these cards and we keep saying millions and millions of coins. But like, it's true, guys. These guys... I mean, especially if their ratings are going to be this nice. I'm not expecting them to be this nice, but close to it. They're going to be very expensive and hard to pack. Ramsdale, he's going to be the guy you're going to get tired of packing. Uh, Allison, Ramsdale, Zinchenko, and Trippier that we're going to look at a little bit. He's probably going to be, I don't know, man. There's a lot of Arsenal players that are in this team, so I could see some um, very needed links here with this Ramsdale card. But really, I'm feeling 100K, 150K for this Ramsdale. Goalkeepers are always cheap. But he does provide some very nice links there. Now, we've looked at Rashford already. But there's another GGMU card in here. There's actually two more. The first one, Casemiro. Very deserved Manchester United team of the season here for Casemiro. A lot of people, I think, voted for Rodri or Casemiro. Casemiro looks like he's going to win the vote. And from the midfielders we've looked at already, we've got Odegaard we've looked at. We've got Kevin De Bruyne that we've looked at. Casemiro, to me, also feels like with Bruno Guimaraes, I feel like they're kind of going toe-to-toe -to -toe for who's in the starting 11 and who's on the bench. I feel like Casemiro might be on the bench. Maybe he's in the starting 11, though, because he was in the vote. Who knows? But I feel like Casemiro is probably going to be somewhere around 93 rated. Uh, 90, he's got to be 94, actually. He can't be 93 because he's got this 92 man of the match. He's got the 91 team of the tournament. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it. I'm going to say 94. I'm going to say 94 Casemiro. Um, he could be as high as 96, but I think that's a bit too generous. And we need this pace, though. We need an 85 pace Casemiro. He's going to be cracked in game because a lot of people really love this card 
A um, lot of games played. I think it just showed there, but then it disappeared. Six million games played with this Casemiro. Incredible, incredible card. He is lengthy um, because his agility and balance uh, was 77 dribbling. He's got 65 um, balance. So 83 dribbling. He's probably still going to be lengthy. Um, as we get towards the end of the game this year, not as many players are going to be lengthy. So that could bring some value to him. But I'm going to say Casemiro probably around like five to 600,000 coins just because he's not going to seem as meta. And he's probably going to be a little more packable. Still a very, very nice card there. Now, one more City player starting center back in the starting 11, Ruben Diaz. It's kind of crazy how both of the starting center backs have foot fantasy cards. But Ruben Diaz is going to get in as well the team of the season. And he's going to probably get just like we talked about with Saliba a plus two or a plus three, not going to be that big of an upgrade, but it's going to make his card look even more cracked. The big thing for Saliba is it's going to take him to above 80 dribbling and hopefully right around or above 80 passing while still being lengthy. He's got 71 agility, so he's still going to be lengthy with a small boost there. And that's going to be an insane center back card. Again, compared to like a VVD, you know, you look at this Ruben Diaz and you see 570k. He's so high rated compared to Saliba. How much is he going to be? I think, though, with a little bit less pace than Saliba maybe has, but still very similar with defensive and physical stats, like he looks insane. You know, 98 defense, if he gets that high, probably more so you're looking at like a 96 or a 97 on his defense and physical. I'm going to say for this for this Ruben Diaz, like 1.5 to 1.75 mil, just because I think the Saliba French links might push him up a little bit more. But Ruben Diaz is going to be crazy in this game, too. So that's amazing, amazing, amazing card there. Moving on. Some names now that maybe you didn't think were going to get in. Harry Kane. Don't think he's a part of the starting 11. I knew he was going to get in, though. He always gets in a team of the season. This is where we start looking at the leagues and we're like, all right, EA is putting a couple cards in here that they know are going to make them an extra bread, sell some extra packs. And Harry Kane here, we need the skill move upgrade. I feel like 96 might be a bit too generous for a card of his uh, as well. 92 for his team of the year honorable mentions. I'm feeling like a 94 or a 95. Harry Kane. Of course, he had the Tots SBC last year. No, no, this card was in packs, right? No, no, it was an SBC. That's right. He had two SBCs, the Flashback and the Tots. Um, he had the 96 last year that was four-star, five-star. Hopefully, this one is four-star, five-star as well. I feel like 94 rated and 95 is more plausible than a 96, though, this year, um, just because of where the power curve is at. So, that's my opinion there. He's probably going to be around, I don't know, four to 500,000 coins, maybe 600k, just because, yes, it is Harry Kane, not the most meta, uh, but if they give him the four-star skills, that could be a bit better. Now, Salah. I mean, I don't know if everybody thought Salah was going to get in, but this is a card that he's had team of the seasons for many years prior to this. He's had a lot of cracked cards. This year, he's got a 93 Centurions. Again, I don't think he's in the starting 11. Maybe EA put him in over Saka. Who knows? I'm really curious to see who gets higher rated between Salah, Saka, and Rashford. But I think Salah is going to be 95, maybe a 94. I, I don't know. He's got plenty of informs this year. You definitely can say that it's deserved. Um, and, you know, this, this Salah card is going to be expensive as well. He just needs the four-star weak foot, right? We need that four-star weak foot there for this card. That would be a much-needed boost for him. And, of course, we have his Tots card from last year to kind of look at for a potential price comparison. He was two and a half mil. And he had the four-star weak foot and, of course, uh, the, the W dynamic. So I don't know about Salah this year, guys, especially if he's going to be a little bit lower rated, which it would be my guess. But probably somewhere around again for one of these Premier League attackers, you're looking 1.8 to 2 million coins. If he's got the four-star weak foot, that will be the best and most usable Salah on the entire year. I know this one is this one's having a rarity spike right now. He's usually like 900K, so don't go based off of this price. But boom, that's a card I don't think a lot of people expected to get in. Um, but wow, EA again, GG's. And then Trippier, we talk about another cheap Tots card. This is going to be one of the ones that is a bit cheaper. Probably going to be a couple hundred thousand coins, two to 300k. I feel like he's going to be really cracked though, but he is going to be one of those cards that you pack a really, really high amount from reds, from upgrade packs, and your guaranteed Tots pack is probably going to be him, right? Or it's going to be one of these guys, Tots moments, man. These Tots, this is where it's also like, okay, EA, you're going for the bag, but we're not mad because these are some W FIFA cards, man. Reese James, he's been injured for so long. He's back. And uh, actually, was he injured again? I don't even know. I haven't kept up with Reese James, but I know he was injured for so long throughout the year. And this is going to be a cool FIFA card, right? Whether you think it's deserved or not, that's not really what the Tots moments are for, in my opinion. This is just EA saying, hey, we're going to add these guys in as Tots moments because... We want to sell some packs is what it really feels like. 
Reese James is going to be cracked, right? I used his gold card in the beginning of the game. He was so good. Um, and this card is going to be really, really good as well. I think the Tots Moments cards, like we've seen with the guys from this week, are a bit more supplied. And that means they're going to be a bit cheaper, right? You look at like Ito, he's really cheap. Carter Vickers, all the Tots Moments cards are pretty cheap. That's going to change with the Reese James. I do believe, though, that he's probably going to be somewhere around the range of like a few hundred thousand coins. Because if you have a Trippier, you know, he might be even uh, more expensive than Trippier, depending on the stats. The Moments card's probably not getting as big of a boost. I feel like 90 rated for this is pretty accurate. Maybe they go 91, uh, but he should get 90 pace. He should get a nice defensive boost and physical boost to be the, into the high 80s with his dribbling and his passing. Hopefully they give him a four-star weak foot as well. That'd be very, very nice. And uh, I could see this card being like three, four, five hundred thousand 500,000 coins just because of the Chelsea links. If we get that flashback Havertz that is leaked as well pretty soon, that could be a card that a lot of people want to link up together. So that's a big Reese James card there. Big leak. Hyunmin Sun. I'm honestly shocked that he's getting a card, right? I was nominating in my head. It's like, oh, Sun could get a Tots, uh, you know, SBC, a flashback. But EA said, nope, we're going to put him in packs so we can sell some packs. Uh, probably not that massive of an upgrade. Sun has had a couple informed cards this year and the Road to the World Cup. This is his best version or the striker version here. I guess you could also say is his best one, the inform. It's really cheap, right? All of his cards are pretty cheap. So this 93 rated Sun, probably around the rating he's going to be. I feel like this prediction is pretty spot on. Probably going to be around 700,000 coins, 650 to 700K. A little more than that, obviously. I'm trying to shout these prices for where I think they'll be into the weekend, maybe towards the end of the weekend when we're looking at these cards for like somewhat viable prices. Um, so I'm going to say around there for him and son. I'm excited for him. Would love to pack him and both Kane. And then Rafael Varane. Man, EA, just drop another meta rat center back in this game. 92 predicted stats on Varane. He's got the winter wild cards. That again, another card I love to trade with. I feel like a 91 or a 92 is pretty spot on here as well. He's definitely a moments card. He's definitely going to be cheaper. But this card being 300k and the fact that it's Varan and French, probably going to be somewhere around the realm, I would guess, of, you know, like 700, 800,000 coins. Unless they only make him like 90 rated, then he'll be a little bit cheaper. But man, like again, we look through all these cards that are in these leaks, guys, and it's just insane card after insane card, after insane card. And that's why we're looking at this team this season and we're just kind of blown away like, wow, EA Sports. Like, you are actually going crazy for a team of the season. And you know what? All we can do is, is say GG. We can say GG to EA. And, uh, you know, some prices on the market are definitely going to be impacted by this. We've already seen a little bit of selling, but it's really tough right now because the market is literally like dead, right? I'm trying to log into FIFA and hopefully you guys are in by the time this video is up and, and going on. But like, man... The market is going to be taking a hit because every time the servers go down like this, when there is panic selling uh, because of a new promo upcoming, you see some pretty low prices and some crazy panic because the servers, like everybody gets back on and starts listing and undercutting. So watch out for that today. We'll be, of course, doing it live on stream as long as these servers come up pretty soon. And the servers are probably going to go down tomorrow on Friday as well. But I wanted to get on and make a video for you guys today because these cards just look insane. Again, we have to take it with a pinch of salt these with these uh, predicted stats, but... I don't think all of them are that far off. I just think the 99 for Holland is a bit too much. So that's a little double upload for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been a account. See you guys later. Peace out.